controllability and observability of a system. So let's take a problem. So our problem is we are given a system which is characterized by the transfer function ys upon us equals to 2 upon s cube plus 6s square plus 11s plus 6 and we have to test the controllability and observability of the system. Now to check the controllability and observability we have the matrices q0 and qc qc is the controllability test matrix and it is given by b a b a square b till a n minus 1 b this is the controllability test matrix and observability test matrix is q0 c transpose a transpose c transpose a transpose square c transpose till a transpose n minus 1 c transpose this is the controllability test matrix and this is the observability test matrix now here the abcd matrices of the state model they are used so first we have to determine the state model of this system because it is given to us the in the transfer function form so this transfer uh, using this transfer function we will derive or determine the state model and through the state model we will get the abcd matrices now transfer function is ys upon us equals to 2 upon s cube plus 6s square plus 11s plus 6 cross multiply it so we are getting taking the inverse laplace transform of both sides of the equation we will get this is s cube so it means differentiation of y three times so we can write it as y triple dot t plus 6 s square so y double dot t plus 11 y dot t plus 6 into y s so 6 y t equals to 2 u t. So this is the differential equation representing the system. Now in this uh, differential equation we will assume now choose the state variables. So let our first state variable x1 is our output yt. Now x2 is what x1 dot or y dot t. x3 is x2 dot or we can say y double dot t x4 y double dot and x3 dot or we can say x4 is y triple dot t and through this equation the value of y triple dot is all the terms they will go to the right hand side so y triple dot t is equal to 2 ut minus 6 y double dot t minus 11 y dot t plus minus 6 y t now 2 ut y double dot is what x3 and y triple dot is x3 dot so we can write here x3 dot is equals to 2 ut 
minus six y double dot is x three y dot is x two and y is x one. So we have the equations for x one dot, x two dot, and x three dot. These are the derivatives of the three state variables. So our state equation will become. x1 dot is what x2 so x2 is 1 and rest other are 0 x2 dot is x3 so this is 1 and rest all are 0 now x3 dot we have derived this equation so this is minus 6 x3 minus 11 x2 minus 6 x1 so coefficient of x1 is minus 6 x2 is minus 11 and x3 is minus 6 and u is 2 Rest are 0. So this is our state equation. Now output equation y is what x1. So y is equal to 1, 0, 0. And this is x1, x2, x3. So this is the state model of the system. We have derived the state model from the transfer function. Now in this state model, this is A matrix, this is B matrix and this is C matrix. So we have uh, all the values of the matrices A, B and C. A is We have the value of the three matrices A, B, C. Now check the controllability and observability. First we will check controllability. Now for controllability we have to determine the QC. QC will be B, A, B and A square B. Because there are three state variables. Okay, so last we have a n minus 1 b. So it will be a 3 minus 1 b or a square b. So we have to determine up till a square b. b is already known. Calculate a b. a matrix is 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus 6 minus 11 minus 8 multiplied with b. 0, 0, 2. A, B matrix is 0 into 0, 0 into 0 and 0 into 2. So this is 0. 0 into 0, 0 into 0, 1 into 2. So this is 0 into this, 0 into this and 1 into 2. So it will be 2 here. Then minus 6 into 0, minus 11 into 0, minus 6 into 2. So it is minus 12. So this is our AB matrix. Now A square B. First we have to determine A square. A square will be 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 6, minus 11, minus 6 into again A. And then B. B is 0, 0, 2. So just to multiply this, this multiplication we have already done here. So it can be written as the multiplication of this with this matrix. Okay. Multiply this 0 into 0, then 0 into 2 and 0 into minus 12. So it will be 2. Then 0 into 0, 0 into 2, 1 into minus 12. So this will be 12. Minus 6 into 0, minus 11 into 2 is minus 22, then minus 6 into minus 12, so it will be 50. So A square B also we have calculated. Now this QC matrix, controllability matrix will become B matrix, B is what? 0, 0, 2, then AB matrix 0, 2, minus 12. Then A square B matrix 2 minus 12 and 50. This is the controllability test matrix QC. Now we have to determine the determinant of this QC. 
determinant will be 0 into 2 into 50 minus minus 12 into minus 12. Then minus 0 into 0 into 50 minus 2 into minus 12 plus 2 0 into minus 12 and minus 2 into 2. So 0 multiplied with this term it will become 0. Minus 0 multiplied with this term will become 0. Plus 2 0 into minus 12 0. 0 minus 4. So it is minus 4 minus 4 minus 2. So it will be minus 8. So the rank of this QC matrix is 3 and it is a non-singular matrix. So we can say that if the matrix, uh, if this QC matrix is having rank n, n is the number of state variables. Here we have three state variables and the rank is also coming out to be three. So this is a non-singular matrix and the system is said to be controllable. So it is a fully controllable matrix. Now check the observability. For observability, we have to check the rank of this observability matrix. This is C transpose, A transpose, C transpose and A transpose square, C transpose. Now C matrices from the state model, we have the state model as this. C matrix is 1, 0, 0. So C transpose will be 1, 0, 0. A transpose, C transpose, write the transpose of this A matrix. The rows will become columns and the columns will become the rows. So we have A transpose as 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 6, minus 11 and minus 6. Multiplied with C transpose, 1, 0, 0. So this will be 0 into 0, 0 into 0 and 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 1 into 1, 1, 0 into 0, 0 into 0, so this is 1, 0 into 1, 1 into 0, minus 6 into 0, so this is 0. This is A transpose, C transpose. Then A transpose square, C transpose, it will be, you have to, Square this A transpose and then multiply it with CT. Or we can say that multiply this term, this matrix with the A transpose. So if we multiply this, we will get 0 into 0, 0 into 1. And minus 6 into this is again 0, 0 and 1. So this Q0 matrix, it will become, first is C transpose. That is 1, 0, 0. Then A transpose, C transpose, 0, 1, 0. A transpose square, C transpose, 0, 0, 1. Now check the determinant. 1, 1 into 1 minus 0. So it is coming out to be 1 determinant. Rest other will be 0. Terms will be 0. So only the determinant due to this first element will be 1 into 1 minus 0. So determinant will be 1. And it is not equals to 0. So rank is equals to 3. Because there are 3 rows. So rank is equals to 3. It means it is equal to n, the number of state variables. And this is a non-singular matrix again. So we can say that the system is completely observable.
So if the rank of the QC and the Q0 matrices, it is equal to the number of the state variables, then the system is said to be completely controllable and observable. So here we have checked the controllability and observability of a system whose transfer function is given to us. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.